going to help too? Okay, we are recording sure this, is. Patricia. All set. Come on, Here I come. On your position. Okay, get ready. All right, Here one, two, three, and blow. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Thanks, mommy. Thanks, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, well, can baby we girl. Cut the cake now? Of course, we can. It. Patricia? Sweetie, come over here. Melissa, take her inside. Come on, sweetie. What are they? Don't you worry. I'll be back for you. Just be safe, okay? I'll be back, don't worry. I'll be back, okay? Okay, Daddy. To the compound, but I can't find the path we usually take. I knew this wasn't the way back. Aaron, it's nighttime. You're gonna start patrolling. Aaron, they're already here. Come on, let's Aaron. get out of here. Kids, we mean you no harm. What are you doing out here? My name is Aaron, and her name is Giara. We both live in paradise. Paradise? That's the place we've been looking for. A locust ship! Huh? They must have seen us. Let's make Let's a run. Let's go hurry! <laughs> Let's hide! Where can we hide around here? Hide behind this rubble, hurry! Kids alone and face me.
Did you feed them crystals? Did they hurt you guys? Aaron, you both got lucky that I found you. Why aren't you in paradise right now? We know, we know. You don't have to yell at us. We didn't mean to. We just wanted to help scavenge and got lost. Oh. And where did you scavenge this pretty girl? Bam, bam. Get the hands uh, off my sister! Uh, you filthy uh, mutant! Uh, you mutants are a bunch of freaks! Leave her alone or else! Uh, I'm uh, not a mutant! Kiara? Who is she? Her name is Bianca, and this is her baby sister, Bam Bam. They both just got here. Sorry, Bianca. I'd like you to meet Christos. He's our head military commander at Paradise. Ow! That hurts. Don't be so rough. Some head commander you are. <sighs> Look, miss. Listen, for starters, I saved your little sister from those local soldiers. And second, don't go accusing someone of being a mutant around here. Frankly, it's you who stinks like one. <laughs> you know, you're a real jerk, and you're mean to women. Only to the stuck-up ones who smell bad. <laughs> Come on, I can't help that, all right? <laughs> Did you know that we've been walking for two weeks through all the sun and the heat? So I'm sorry if we smell bad, your highness. You know, you talk as if you were perfect in every way when you're wearing that stupid getup! You're mean and arrogant! And... and... Oh my, you're bleeding. It was pretty bold of you to travel. Especially with a kid with you. I had no choice. Nobody else wanted to join me in my search for paradise. Oh, come on, Kiara. We could be back at Paradise right now if you just use your... Shh. Will you be quiet? We can't talk about that when there are other people around. They all said Paradise didn't even exist. Paradise does exist. But don't expect it to be a heaven on Earth. It's called Paradise, but it's just a simple compound. I don't mind if it's simple. I'm sure it would still be a far better place to live than where my sister and I used to be. Was your sister born mute? She wasn't. She only stopped speaking after seeing her mother and her other sibling get taken down right in front of her. It traumatized her. The food's almost done? ready, just about served. Good to know. Almost done. Okay. All right, take it easy over there. Just get what you can finish. Oh, good. Mm. Eat up, oh, everybody. This is pretty good. <laughs> Where have you been? Here, doctor. Let me help you with that. Well, that's surprising. First time I've ever seen you help out before. Come on, doc. He's simply trying to impress you, that's all. Gosh, you must feel like a goddess, huh? All the guys are going nuts about you, like Angelo, this piece of work. I'm the only mm. one who's not... Uh... <laughs> Don't pick him. He'll just keep smacking you around. Gina? Gina? What's the matter? You dizzy? Gina? You're so pale. Dance! The kids are in really serious trouble! Looks like it's my lucky day today. I'll meet my coda and then some. They're no use to you. Just let them go. And take me as your soul captive. 
Too late for that. Where were you coming from? And where were you heading? No, Christos! Don't hurt him! We came from paradise, Gotta... all right? From paradise? I've heard of that place before. I thought it was only a made-up story, so it's true. I'm sure Father will be pleased to know that. Bring all of them. Even the children. You two, come with me. Let's go! Christus! Glad you showed up. We got worried about Aaron and Giara. They're safe in here. Bravo, we beat ambush by the captain's allies. Better watch yourself. Christos, he's alerted the others. What now? You guys deal with things here. I have to go save Bianca. Got it. Bianca? Who's Bianca? Wow. We're outnumbered, and they're better equipped than we are. We're still a lot smarter, though. That's Here they up. come! to drive, right? Of course! Then take over here. Kiana, you handle the gun. Christos! Christos! Christos, don't let go!
Some new toys. All Check good. it out. The breaking will you <laughs> destroy. Get the engine parts for recycling. Copy. What about you? Where are you going? To check on the kids. <laughs> Did he hurt you? No, he didn't. Oh no, Kiara! I can't stop it. The brakes must be out. Oh, Daddy! Kiara! We're here, Angela! We're all right! What? Weren't you both in there? We were! That's right. But how'd you get out of it? <laughs> Who's gonna break the news to him about Abu? You do it. You were closer to Abu. I've checked the other side. It's clear. There's nothing to worry about. Good. But I'm still feeling nervous. I'm sure that the mutants will retaliate. Well, they don't know what our location is. No secret stays hidden forever. They're bound to find us sooner or later. The question is, when they will show up. I just came from the operations center today. And according to our radar, no one's coming, so we're still safe. Although, I'm not sure if the radar still works, since it's outdated. <laughs> How's our project coming along? Hmm. After working on it for a long time now, it's all done. So you want to take a test drive? I'll bet the mayor and the council are just going to oppose that project again. It's best to be prepared. Master, Master. Dos, did you meet your quota? We couldn't, Master. The humans have become more elusive these days. You incompetent fools. I just came from the West, which is barely inhabited by humans now. Yet I succeeded with my mission. Why didn't you? Where's Abo? Why isn't my son here? Master. I'm afraid Dos has bad news. What is it? What happened to my son, Dos? I'm afraid I always does. murdered my son. According to Abu's soldiers who reported it before they were killed, the human's name is Christos. Christos? We suspect that he also murdered some of our alien allies. He dared to kill the Locust Warriors? Yes, Master. We've heard that he's a very adept fighter.
And he's not alone either. He has a group of humans with him. Just who are these humans? And where have they been hiding undetected? They live in a place that they call Paradise. Paradise? We're also running short on fuel for our generators around here. We're also about to lose whatever stored energy we have left. That's why we have to ask Angelo and his group to set out again in order to search for gasoline and to salvage more recyclable items. Mayor, I know a place at the town's border. There's a gas station there that still has a lot of gasoline left. Is that true? And the mutants aren't aware of it. The town's border, huh? Oh, and we also need to find medicine and supplies to restock the clinic run by Dr. Miles. Oh, wow. Still trying to impress her. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come along and find them yourself? You know, Jason, if you really want to impress Dr. Miles, do something instead of just talking about it. <laughs> That's enough, Angelo. You're being a real bully. Christos, it's getting more dangerous out there for Angelo and his group to move around on their own. Would you accompany them? Why, yes, of course, Mayor. Master, his name's Jason. He claims he's from Paradise. He said he's been looking for us. Why that is, I've no idea. I'm pleased that a human would dare seek out mutants like ourselves. Does this mean that you wish to take part in our army? I just want to strike a deal with any mutant here. Since there are some guys I want to capture. And besides, I've no wish to turn into a monster like yourself. Show our master some respect! And just, who are the humans you want captured? By my soldiers, then? They're Cristo Sarmiento and Angelo Arcega. Both of them will be leaving Paradise tonight. I'll tell you where they'll be hunting salvageable material. That's great. But I'll only tell you where they're going if you'll give me your word to leave Paradise alone. You have some nerve. What makes you think you can tell our master what to do, huh? You're quite sharp, my friend. You have my word. I'll leave Paradise alone. But master! Stop, Alura. Our master knows what he's doing. Christos, if you can hear me, you should have left already. It's late enough as it is, dude. Before you know it, the sun will be up. So move your butt. Hurry up. Do you hear me, soldier? Answer me. Hey, I said to <laughs> Will you shut up? Stop bothering me, all right? I'm still trying to fix this truck's engine. All right. Take care, you hear? All right, enough, Patricia. Please, baby girl, that is busy. Plus, I'm all sweaty, so stay back. Right. Hurry, go guard the front. Timmy, what do you see? Just a lot of mosquitoes, Christos, but not a locust craft inside. 
Strike. You know what to do. Got it, Go. Christos. Ice. Angelo, start pumping out the gasoline. It's so lovely here. Like daytime with all the lights around. Boy, have I ever missed seeing real trees and plants. That's one reason why I insisted on raising a garden here at our compound. Apart from providing there fruits is. and vegetables. Oh, thank you. We also have medicinal trees and plants. And the garden has therapeutic benefits for everyone. Doctor! Doctor, I can see something! Uh, uh... Does that mean she can see again? Uh, I'm afraid that's not what she meant. She's having a vision in her mind. Um, I don't think I understand. Well, Gina may be blind, but she has a unique gift of sight. She can perceive something bad is about to happen to any of us. It's Christos! The boys are in danger! Timmy, no, watch out! There's a traitor! Bullet, help me out. Ice, why do you keep leaving white hand marks everywhere? It's the symbol of humans, dude. To remind the locust creatures that we're still around and that they can't defeat us that easily. Fine, just tell Christos we're almost done. We are ready to pull out now. Bullet. Call strike and Timmy over. Hurry. Bring the others! Take the truck and go! We're not going to leave you here! Someone has to cover for you! Get going! Now! Hold on. 
And who's this? That's Christos. Don't befriend monsters. <laughs> Very impressive. As bold as ever. Even when you're now our captive. <laughs> I am Hades. I'm the leader of the mutants in this region. Hades, huh? Fitting. It was you! Who killed my son, Abu? It wouldn't be good enough to just take your life right away. <clears throat> so I've been thinking of the best way to make sure you suffer. I'll inject you with locust blood. Soon you will feel its poison coursing through your veins. And you'll know pain. Eventually you... will die in agony. But before you breathe your last, I am pleased to inform you that we already know the location of that beloved place that you call paradise. That's why we're preparing to launch an attack against that place you consider your home. I won't allow it! Jason. You gave me your word. Jason, my dear friend, why don't you say hi? to this other friend you betrayed. Jason, what's the meaning of this? What are you doing here? You promised me that if I gave you what you wanted, you leave paradise alone. So you helped them to get to us? How could you do that? You wouldn't understand, Christos. Why didn't you kill Angelo? Is this because you're still resentful? Because you couldn't take charge of paradise? You gave me your word, Hades. You're a fool. Do you really believe I keep my promise to you? Dos, turn that traitor into a mutant. Let me deal with him. Hades, you're a worthless piece of scum! <sighs> The poison. <laughs> Start saying your prayers to whatever god you believe in, because you are on your way to hell. <laughs> So, none of you know if Christos is dead. How could you all leave him there? It's what he wanted. Those were his last words to me. His last words? So are you assuming then that Christos is already dead? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're still not sure of that. What I'm sure of is that our enemies were expecting us there. They knew exactly where they would find us. Gina, you mentioned a traitor, right? What? A traitor? That's true, but I couldn't see who it was. Aren't we going to rescue Christos? Angelo, can't we do something to help him? Or are you afraid? If Christos is still alive, he'd most likely be a mutant by now. And he'd be controlled by the locust creatures. Master, is this really going to be enough troops to send over to paradise? 
The humans living there have no real military force. So it'll be easy for you to destroy Paradise. And harvest its people. Dos! As soon as the sun's up, launch the attack. As you wish, Master. They're launching an attack. We have to warn everyone. Christos, Christos, come on, we have to get out of here. Come on, let's go. Christos, what are you waiting for? Because of you, Timmy got killed. And I got injected with locust creatures poisonous blood. Christos, I'll make up for what I've done to all of you. Do you think I'll even trust you after this? And you had to bring this mutant along with you? On the outside. I might appear to be a mutant. Please don't, I'm begging you. But I still have human blood coursing through my veins. I was no. just turned into a mutant by force. I suffered the most agonizing pain as they slowly tore out everything in me that was human. At first, I felt nothing towards our human captives. But as time went on, I strangely began to regain my old human emotions until the locust creature's influence on my mind and body was completely gone. Something has changed in my blood. Thanks to this miracle, I knew that God had other plans for me. So I knew I had to help you out. And now you know my truth. <sighs> Christos, there's something you have to know about the Locust creatures. And Deacon has all the information we need to defeat them. You're trying to trick me, aren't you? This is just another trap. I'm not lying to you, Christos. Paradise matters to me too. My family lives there. Listen, if we don't move now, we'll never get out of here. And Paradise will be in grave danger. Come on. Please, we have to go. What I am about to show you right now will prove why I've decided to work alongside with you. So this is the Kota that Abba was talking about. They've been collecting people. Collecting them? But why? For what? Being in the army, I knew when the locust creatures first arrived here. We didn't expect them to stay this long. They kept destroying crops and other food sources. Now I know why and why they are so intent on in taking over our planet. They've been harvesting people. To eat. found out about your escape. Let's take the ship. Just go and be careful. Wait. Jason, what about you? 
I'll stay in cover for you. To pay for the harm I caused you and everyone. Tell my parents goodbye. Now leave! Get out while you still can! Go! done with regrets. Whatever I owe is already paid for. Dance. Dance. Wake up, dance. Mm. Honey, come on. Let's sleep a bit longer. Don't dance. Just stop that. Gina? Goodness. You minx. You were taking advantage of me? Quit it. You must have been dreaming. Is something coming towards us? Can you check your radar right now? Good grief. You're being paranoid again. Look, not a dot. Just one. I mean two. Angelo! Locust craft! Oh my god! No way! <laughs> They have come to attack us! Inside! Christos, hold on! We're about to reach some people! I can see Paradise, and it's under attack! Oh! <laughs> 
find Bam Bam. She's back there. We can't go back. It's dangerous. We have to help Bam Bam. Let's get her. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Relax, guys. His condition is getting worse. Miles, it's Christos. He's sick. Christos. Stop whining. You're not supposed to feel pain. But it really hurts. They've created a robot from recycled materials? Yes, Master. It has strength and durability. And the weapons they made can match ours as well. Master, let me take charge of dealing with them. Are you saying that I'm useless? Now that you only have one hand, you are. Dos! Master, allow me to go back there. I have a human to confront and a score to settle. None of you will be going back down there. We shouldn't have misjudged them. And you know very well what our real situation is. It's time for me to seek assistance of the head locust. He's been injected with a serum, not for mutant conversion, but for slow death from the fatal locust blood. It was the punishment that Hades bestowed on him. I don't know how I'll be able to save him then. According to what I've researched, only a locust's fresh blood 
will be able to save his life. A locust's fresh blood? Gina. So you in Dens have kept this matter from the council and from all the citizens of Paradise, huh? How many resources did you waste to make this robot? We did not waste a thing. We only used recycled scraps created, all right. And besides, look, here's the thing. Christos believes we need this defense. Our enemies aren't going to stop hunting us down unless we take the fight to them. We can't just keep deluding ourselves with the idea that if we continue hiding and avoiding them all, we'd be safe and able to survive. Christos is a soldier, and we agree with what he said. If this robot hadn't been here, we'd be goners. Are you feeling dizzy? No, I'm fine. Dr. Miles, did you call for us? Okay, Kiara and I are here, so what's up? Christos needed a locust creature's fresh blood to balance out his blood with that of the creatures. That way, the poison can be countered. But where did you get the blood? There's the secret that we wish to share with you. We just hope it doesn't scare you. We're all aware that Gina has a unique gift. That's because she, along with some of the children living here with us, have locust blood in them. Really? When I was a young girl, some locust creatures caught me and several kids and took us to their hive. There they did various medical experiments on us. After we were rescued by the army troops led by Christos, we discovered that we all possessed extraordinary powers. What other kids are you talking about? Kiara is one of the younger kids saved by Christos. Go on, show them all what you can do, Kiara! <gasps> Whoa. Where did you go? Uh, uh, where? Uh, ah! <laughs> so you can teleport? Uh -huh. Whoa, uh, hey, dude! So that's how you and Aaron got out of the jeep then? Uh, Dens, you all right? Help Miles, him up. He's awake! I feel cold. That's great. Come on, help Go him. See him. My lord, please accept my sincerest apologies for interrupting you while you were sleeping. My lord, I need some help and guidance from you. The humans are getting bolder and stronger. They could easily strike back at us. The locust creatures are now on edge. Yeah, they're getting alarmed. They've already faced losses in battle in America, Europe, and China. And only a few countries are still under their control. They've also been losing their weapons, energy, and defense force. That also means they'll have to create more mutants. But why send only a few soldiers? Maybe their armed force is dwindling. Mayor. 
This would be the best time for us to counterattack them. Have you lost your mind? And what would you use to attack them with? Just that one robot, Christos? Sir, whoever told you that we only have one robot? <laughs> Wow, look at them! They're awesome! Hey, dude, hey Angelo, your yeah. robots rock! We have Thanks. been preparing for this for five years now. As you can see for yourselves, Angelo has already trained most of our young fighters on operating these robots. I still can't believe you kept this from the Council. There's something else you have to know. They're about to leave. They're preparing to leave our world since they're getting overpowered. Well then, if that's the case, we don't have to do a thing. I'm glad they'll be gone soon. Just let them leave? After all the harm and grief they've caused us? That is not okay! Hey, Dents. Gather all the information from Deacon about their hive. What do you plan to do? We're going to bomb every last part of their hive with them inside. Get out of here, will ya? Stay over there. Quit being pesky. Angelo, I know you haven't always been there for you. I was too absorbed in performing my duties as Paradise's leader that I completely forgot that my first and foremost duty is to be a father to my only son. Please forgive me, son. I already have that. <clears throat> May I have your attention? Christos has something to tell us. Paradisus! Many of us here have shed our own blood and have lost the people we love. We've lost our parents, our siblings, spouses and kids. But still, once the sun rises and tomorrow morning comes, Every one of us will reclaim our dignity. We will all be reclaiming our independence. And we will be bringing back hope to our new generation for the liberation of the world we call our own.
We will find the captors! Angelo, why must you drag me down here? I still have to fix the clinic. Angelo. That's just so you'd know how I really feel about you. Since I know you only see me as a friend. You know, forget it. Just promise me that you'll be coming back best friend, all right? As long as you welcome me back with a big hug, okay? I have to go now. Okay, all the locations where you should leave the bombs that will completely destroy the Logos creature's hive are already programmed in here. Once you've set them all, just press this button here, and in five minutes, the whole hive, boom, they're all gone. Boom. The bombs. Right here. Okay. Where's Angelo? Angelo? Right here. Hey, you <laughs> hey, sure? That's a cartoon. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Dance. Christos. Angelo, I'm going ahead to the Locust Creatures Hive. So you lead the Paradise Attack troops from here on. I have full faith in you. Be safe. I won't let you down, Christos. Be safe as well. Who is that? A human who just came here on her own. Where are you from, and what are you after? I came from Paradise, and I wish to speak to your leader, Hades. I brought some information that he needs to know about. <laughs> Toss, where is our master? He's resting in his chamber right now. Christos. Bam Bam couldn't find her sister anywhere. Oh. Where's Bianca? I have no idea. But I can sense something's wrong. What do you mean by that? I see. Now don't you worry. We'll go find your sister. Kiara. Are you sure you'll be able to do this? I'm sure, but first you'll have to think about the place where we're going. Once we get there, I can go back again. All right. Are you ready to go? Amazing, Kiara. Now go back to Paradise, and I'll take care of the rest here. Be careful while you're here, Christos. I'll see you. All right.
forth. Are coming. It's over. I don't see anything yet. Gina, are you sure of that? I really wish I was wrong, Mayor. But a lot of blood will be shed in this war. Better be ready, dude. <laughs> then. <laughs> Don't do that! Hold it! Angelo, there's too many of them. Let's wait till tomorrow when there's fewer, okay? Huh? Don't let them scare you! Don't let them scare you! No one's retreating! I am retreating! We're going to fight them all! Uh-huh! Yeah! Yeah, you go fight them all! All right, you can do it, dudes! Let's head back to our robots. For what? Let's do this! Oh, shoot. We'll have to get ready then. You all know what to do, folks. Get moving, all of you. Close the gate. Raise the barricade. Go. Yeah. <laughs> 
us the lethal blood of the locusts. Ah! Are you happy now? The fight's finished. Stop! Don't kill him, please! Bianca, what are you doing here? She came over here in search of her father. In Deacon's manifesto, I found a list of human captives that became mutants. And one of them is my dad. But I found him here, Christos. My dad's still alive. Hades is my father! Christos! No! Come along! Christos! Christos, you alright? Angela, what took you so long? The battle took a while, but we came like you told us to. Have you planted all the bombs? Every place you set. I just need to detonate them. Then let's get the heck out of here. We can't go. It's Bianca. Hades still has her. Bianca? What is she even doing here? We'll discuss that later. Is my robot with you? Out there, where we came in. You'd better just head back there. I'll finish this myself. Come on. We have to leave here right now. Let's go. Christos, don't forget to detonate the bomb. Stay safe.
December 25, 2021. After our victorious battle against the locust creatures, the spirit of Christmas came alive for us again. Much was lost during the last war, but a lot was also found because of it. Freedom, hope, and a brighter future ahead. But then there are still questions that have remained unanswered, and those taken from us who still haven't returned. This is just the first wave of a long battle, and we must all be ready for the next cycle. It's you. You're alive. <laughs> 